Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the I Don't Even Know podcast. I am Em, I hope you are doing well. Today, I'm here, Love Island, season 6, Love Island USA, season 6. I finally watched it, I binged it like the last week, just because everyone was talking about it. Like, it was all over my Instagram, I was getting so many edits. Even my Twitter, TikTok, literally everywhere. And, like, I've heard of Love Island. More specifically, I've heard of Love Island UK. I've heard of the other ones as well, but mostly it's Love Island UK. Or, yeah, is the one I hear about the most because it's the best one. Or So I've heard and the other ones kind of suck. Or, that's what people say. But, like, I've never watched it before until now. And I was going to. Like, I don't watch reality shows or like any dating shows too hard to handle and love is blind they are on my list to watch but i haven't gotten there yet the only like romance like love reality tv show like love related one is bachelor but that's scripted kind of like producers push things so like i don't know if that really counts but i got into bachelor in september because my therapist had, was, like, telling me, you have to watch it. Because, like, she's really into it. And I knew my sister was really into it. Like, really into it. Like, she's been watching it for a couple years now. So, I watched Bachelor in Paradise, season 9. And then Golden Bachelor. And Joey's seen The Bachelor. And I'm currently watching again season of The Bachelorette. So, like, I'm into it now. And my sister, like, after I started watching Bachelor, like, Bachelor Nation stuff... She was like, you need to watch Love Island. Love Island UK. Like, you need to watch the new season when it comes out. You should also watch the other seasons or some of them. I did not do that because I looked on Hulu and it was like 50 fucking episodes or some shit like that. And I was like, okay, yeah, we're not doing that. Because I have other things I want to get to on my watch list. So, I was like, okay, next season, I'll watch it. I didn't know when the season was dropping. So, I ended up finding out about, like, it. Like, a couple weeks after it started, I was like, okay, like, we'll figure it out. Like, maybe I'll watch it, maybe I won't. I don't know. But then, like, I realized that they drop, like, almost every day, and I didn't know that before. So, I was like, oh, fuck. So, I'm screwed, basically. And I was like, there's no way I can, like, do this. So, I decided not to watch the UK this season, and I will next season. But, I wasn't going to watch USA at all. Until, like, yeah, it was popping up on my, like, Twitter and all that. And my sister, when we were on vacation, because she was there, she was talking to me about, like, how good it is this season. Like, she's like, it's so good. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm behind, but it's really good. Like, you should watch it. Like, it's a lot of episodes, but you should watch it. I think you would really enjoy it. And I I was just seeing so many things about Leah, specifically. The icon herself. I was seeing her all over my For You page, literally all over my socials like everyone was talking about like how obsessed they are with her and the things i saw before them incredible like she seemed great and i knew i was gonna love her if i watched the show so like while i was on my vacation i was like okay you know this finale is about to air so like i know i don't have like i had a lot of episodes i have like 30 fucking seven but it's i thought it was gonna be like 50 and then i was like no when i found that out i was like okay I'll do it. So, I started last Saturday. So, literally, like, a week ago. Like, I think it was the day before the finale came out. Or maybe the finale came out Saturday night. I don't remember. I just remember... I knew who won. I remember seeing who won on my Twitter and basically everywhere. So, like, going into it, I already knew. So, it was kind of spoiled. But I didn't know the shit that happened really in the house. Or in... Not in the house. In the villa. So... I was still kind of going in blind for the most part. Like, I didn't know much about people, just that everyone loved Leah, Serena, and Janae, which, same now. But I was like, okay, you know, we're going to do this. So I started watching it. And, yeah, it's become my whole personality. This week has ha- has been so much fun. I've been having the time of my life. Like, I don't get that into reality TV, or I say I do, because here's the thing, I, like I said, I don't consider really Bachelor reality TV, it is in a way, but it also isn't, 
Because, like, I do occasionally get in pretty into that. But for the most part, I don't. The only other re reality, like, shows I've seen is Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Or I've seen part of it. I'm on season 9. I've been watching that for, like, three fucking years. And I'm only on season 9. And then The Kardashians, which that has gone completely downhill. And I don't know why I still watch it. But, like, those are the only ones. And I didn't think I was going to get so into it. But, like, oh, my God. It was so good, and people were pissing me the fuck off, and that's why I wanted to do this episode, because I have stuff to talk about. Like, I'm not gonna th go into, like, the full season, everything that happened, because no, and also I can't really remember, I, like, can't remember everything, because I, like, watched it in a fucking week, but it's, like, there's so many things that pissed me off, and I have no one to talk to about it, because, like, my sister, I could text her, but, like, like I want to talk to somebody in person, or, you know, like, what I mean. I don't want to have to text her because she's like, lives in a different state. And I don't know if she's caught up yet. So, like, I don't know who to talk to. And, like, my therapist, I don't know if she's watched the new season. And I don't even know if she wa watched Love Island. I think she does, but I don't know if she watched the USA one. So, like, I have no one to talk to. And, oh, my gosh, people were pissing me the fuck off. I did not think I was going to get so annoyed watching this show, but every couple of minutes, I was getting so irritated and so pissed off, and I could not wait for specific people to get kicked out, and they stayed for so damn long. Like, for example, Aaron, I'm sorry, I fucking hate that guy. I don't know why, I just do. Actually, no, I do. He's kind of a pain in the ass, and I stand by the fact that he is in love with Rob, Okay. It's like, isn't it obvious? Like, he was willing to leave Kaylor because Rob's match, or like the person he was with, got kicked out. And he was like, he was bawling his eyes out, which had me dying. I was laughing so hard because the guy looked almost as sad as Rob. And yeah, Rob should have been sad because the girl he was with was leaving. Like, and he was like, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave, like, who cares? And Kayla was still there, and I'm like, you're gonna leave just because this man, who was a kind of a dick, and not kind of, he is a dick, like, is upset, and he, it turns out he didn't even leave, and he was pain in the ass moving forward, and, and a fucking dickhead, but it's like, you're flipping out that much over, like, them sending her home, like, I get they had a strong connection. Like, no, first of all, I actually don't really get that because they didn't. It was, like, four days. I don't know why Andrea... Isn't that her name? I hope. Andrea, I, I think that's her name. I forgot because I don't like her. But, like, she's still talking about it. It's like, we had a good connection. Like, maybe we'll explore it. Blah, blah, blah. I thought he was going to go with me. All that. I'm like, bro, you know him for four fucking days. And you're already saying that? It's like, yeah, they had a good connection or, like, a stronger connection out of some of the people that they were in the bottom with. But they obviously were not going to kick out Janae. If they did, I was going to throw some hands because that is my girl. And I will be defending her with my life moving forward. And then Nicole, like, she had a connection, I think, with Kendall at that point. I think she already had a connection with Kendall. I might be wrong. But, like, they weren't going to kick her out. Like, let's kick the girl out who is a pain in the ass, kind of a dick, not kind of, she literally is, and like, save the two people that are actually decent people, and also, they, like, they had a point with the other two, Janae and Nicole, they were kind of experimenting and kind of, like, figuring it out, which is what you're supposed to do in Love Island, like, you're supposed to kind of move around, like, talk to different people, kind of get the hang of everything or like maybe kiss a couple people like figure it out explore this girl basically went straight to rob literally and like like stayed with him and so yeah it makes sense like you're supposed to explore she did not i get why they thought she had the wrong intentions i mean maybe she didn't maybe she's a nice girl outside of the villa we didn't get to see it because and maybe we did, but, like, I wasn't paying attention because she pissed me off. It's like, And also, I just wanted her gone because I was hoping Rob would leave. Like, to be fair, I did know Rob did not leave because I saw him with other people. 
like later on in the season like from edits and stuff so I kind of knew he wasn't gonna leave but I still was hoping I was wrong and honestly I would have like been thrilled if Aaron left because that man like he literally is in love with Rob like I'm sorry it's just, like the way he acts and it's just like he pisses me off and like him and Kayla like they're not awful but he just gives me the ick he literally is in love with Rob and then Kayla was just pissing me off this whole season like at first I liked her and she, like she wasn't the worst I gave her the benefit of the doubt but girl kept crying and that's why she felt kept pulling lower and lower on my ranking because you wouldn't stop crying like girl I get it it's emotional but you were crying over every damn thing and it was really pissing me off it's like I at first I was like okay like it's fine but then when it like happened almost every single episode that's when I was like yeah we're not doing this like please just leave like I was hoping they left sooner even though they had one of the stronger connections I was really hoping they left because I didn't know when they left I knew they did because I knew they were not the final four like I knew who the final four were like before I watched watched it but I didn't know how far they made it and I assumed they were gonna make it far because of their connection and if they were in the bottom like everyone was gonna vote for them because they or like not everyone like the other people were gonna vote to have them stay because they have a stronger connection so like I knew they were gonna stay long but I would have been fine if they left sooner because it's just like she seems like a nice girl but it was just pissing me off and she deserves so much fucking better than that piece of shit. I'm sorry. And I don't just dislike him because he gives me the ick and, like, I literally think he's in love with Rob. It's because the way he, like, did everything at Casa Amor or whatever it's called, like, the way he did shit there pissed me off. And I found out from Twitter or, like, TikTok, there was a video of one of the girls who was there at Casa Amor who said th the only reason like he cut it out off with Daniela was because they heard Kaylor yelling fuck Aaron or something after they got the video and so he was like oh shit and he cut it off or some shit like that I didn't know that because I did not watch any of the after sun episodes I don't know if that's what that was on I assume it was but I didn't watch any of them because I was trying to get through the show faster you know because I wanted like because I have such a long list of shows I want to watch and like I'm trying to get through them or like a couple of them because it's like a long and it's gonna take me forever so like and this was not on my list so I was trying to get through it so I skipped the after some episodes so I don't know anything that happened in there and but I did see that and it's just like girl like not girl bro like that girl was so literally was in love with you or like not maybe not in love with him at that point but you could tell she loved him like the way she was acting and like the way she was bawling her eyes out because she missed him and she was worried and everyone was like oh no don't worry like they're fine and she was telling every guy like oh yeah like we have a strong connection blah 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 and then he goes off with gabrielle what's her name not gabriella daniella oh my gosh and like just basically makes out with her wants to take a shower with her it's just like you're a piece of shit like you're gonna act like like the way you are or like the way you've been with her and then you're gonna go off and want to fuck someone else it's like sorry it's just he he is such red flag i don't know what she sees in him i don't know why she kept going back to him like she needs to know her self-worth like girl i will like you so much more or let's be real i would have liked you more if you didn't cry as much but i will like you so much more now if you dump him and realize your worth because oh my gosh like i would have never taken that man back especially because like literally the only reason he stopped seeing Danielle Daniela was because they came back or like because he heard her and like that's the only reason she got with Rob I'm like and then like when he came back after like Casamore and 
she was standing there alone. He was so happy. He was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, no, bitch. You know what you've done. You don't know that she knows. It's like, what do you think? I'm so happy she stood her ground. It was like, no, I'm staying single. Fuck you. Like, it was only a couple days at Castle Moor, and they could not, like, chill and just be like, oh, we have relationships or we're seeing people or like connections are strong no like they're gonna go try to fuck people like like that man like i know they're still together as of right now and i feel like they might still be together by the reunion but they're gonna break up for sure like i'm sorry i just i feel like they will but also i feel like they won't for a while because that girl i feel like she's not gonna leave him she does not know her self-worth. Like, oh my gosh. Like, ugh, it just pisses me off. Like, at first, when we first saw them in episode one, I was like, okay, like, maybe they'll be cute. And I kind of liked her at first, and he seemed fine. But then when we, like, kind of got more into it, I was like, okay, she's crying a lot. But, like, the m- moment I was like, yeah, I don't like him, complete ick, was... There might have been another moment before, but the one I remember was when he started crying over Andrea and Rob. That was fucking hysterical, though, because I could not stop laughing. Like, everyone was crying on my screen, and I was having the time of my life. I was just chilling in my room with my dogs, being like, oh, hell yeah, like, this is great TV. Like, I'm having a blast. Like, that was so iconic. Like, obviously, I knew they were going to do that, because I knew Janae wasn't leaving. I knew Nicole wasn't leaving. But I was still kind of shocked because I thought that maybe they were going to do some shit and have Andrea to stay because of her connection with Rob. Even though I don't care for her. I don't care for Rob. I don't know how people still ship Rob and Leah. It's just, like, I thought they were maybe going to stay just because of that. I mean, I'm happy she's gone because she keeps popping up on my TikTok since I've, like, watched it. And, like, her videos. It's just, like, I don't, I don't like her. Like, I just really don't, like, wish you the best, but, like, I really don't like you, you know? My hatred towards her isn't, like, as bad as, like, other people, like, have been. Like, obviously, like, Rob and Aaron top it. Who else? People I don't remember their names. The Most of the Casa Moore girls pissed me off holy shit oh my gosh i don't even remember some of their names but it's just the way they were acting when the guys came back with them and the girls were upset and they were like oh like they're being rude like i guess like everything we saw like wasn't fake or blah blah blah. i'm like if you were in their position and the guys you were connecting with came back with other people you would be acting like that too you might even be worse like, you want them to be nice, but, like, what did you expect? They're pissed off. And, like, them, like being mad about the way Serena acted towards Cordell and Dea, Dea, I don't even know her name. It's something like that. Was They were like, oh, my gosh, like, so rude, so fucked up. I'm like, girl, you would do that, too. Cordell, I love you, but you really fucked up there, okay? It's like, like Serena said, you did something to get your dick wet or whatever so it was something like that it's like you had a growing relationship that started off as friendship and progressively became something more and she was not the person who was going to like give you everything right away like it took time which i think are like the best types of relationship like you don't want to get in bed with someone and like try to fuck someone immediately in a good relationship like you it takes time to progress and that was my favorite part about their relationship it it's been from the start this like we're friends she kind of was like iffy but then she came around and like realized like okay yeah and like they kept getting more and more and then he when he was at, at casa more he saw an opportunity to basically fuck a girl and dry hump her and he was like oh yeah i'm gonna take this opportunity and take the easy way it's like you want a relationship that's easy and doesn't mean anything over one that means a lot in his hard work i know like people some people don't want like a hard work relation a relationship that's hard work but the good ones 
our hard work, you know? It's like, he took the easy way out, and it's like, okay, yeah, I got something I want, I'm just gonna take it. Who the fuck cares? And, like, the way they were saying, you gave him what Serena wouldn't, like, he finally got what he wanted. I'm like, no. You're horny, and so was he, and you just basically fucked him. I know they technically did not have sex, but, you know, in my mind, they did, because... The way everything was going, like, I'm so shocked that no one fucked in the bedrooms. Like, I get they probably didn't do it because, um, people were in there. But then Rob did it with Cassie. I think that's her name. He did it with her. Which is insane to me. And, like, how the hell did they pull that off if it was actually in the rooms? Like, you're gonna fuck someone when other people are sleeping near you it's like that's a little weird but it's like i don't know it's just, like that whole situation with cordell like pissed me off i knew he was gonna redeem himself but i didn't know that he like he did that before going into this because i did not know castamore was a thing i didn't know anything i was like okay cool like whatever i thought the guys were gonna be loyal besides rob I thought all of them were going to be like, okay, like, yeah, let's, like, be loyal, we're talking to these people, like, we're gonna play it safe, not gonna do anything, and every guy fucked up, like, Kendall only fucked up once, I don't even really remember what he did, I think he maybe just kissed someone, but I know he fucked up once, everyone else fucked up multiple times, Rob didn't, because he was single, but... I mean, technically, they were all single because they're not, like, official yet, but you know what I mean. It's, like, Kendall was the only one who, like, didn't really do much or just fucked up once. But the reason my respect for Kendall went down after that, like, it went up because he, like, didn't really do much and he only messed up once and, like, decided to stay, like, stay single and, like, not go back with anyone to be with Nicole, which I did appreciate that. But my respect for him did go down because the way he was at Casa more and the way he did like tell them and wasn't really respectful to the girls and didn't say like you need to like stop because he was hyping Cordell up and I'm like no you you like have a relationship basically with Serena it's getting there and like you're you could become more if you don't fuck this up and like I'm happy she went back to him and I'm happy he redeemed himself obviously and they're good now but it's like it upset me so much like he just wanted something that was easy and like got what he wanted right away it wasn't anything like it didn't mean anything you know it's like i'm happy that girl also was kind of chill by the end of it i mean at first she was pissing me off with all the talk about like oh blah 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 like serena like all the girls they're mean like fuck them it's like no fuck you she came around she's chill now i think I mean, I don't remember any of the other girls. I remember Saria, Saria, not Serena, Sierra, Sierra, the, the one who came back with Miguel. Isn't that who who she came back with? I might be wrong. I think it was Miguel, but I might be might be wrong. And then she ended up with Kane, and then that random other guy who was not that attractive with the long hair like her I don't really like hate her I don't mind her she was the only other one I remember because all the other ones were like like unmemorable because they left like she stayed for a bit because she had like different like men to get with and so she was safe for a bit the one thing that does not sit well with me was a TikTok that she posted about, like, Kane and the other guy. And then Kane also did a response, was was, was kind of funny. But, like, I just don't know if that was great. I mean, here's the thing. I don't really like Kane either. Never really saw the appeal. I get why Liv decided to keep him. I feel like I would have taken one of the other guys, but I get I mean, she didn't have anyone, so she just had to choose. So, like... I, mean, I don't know. I don't remember any of the other um, boys that came during the Casa Mora situation. Don't remember any of them. 
because they were respectful. I remember the guy, one guy with the accent who was nice. But other than that, I don't remember them. Because, like I said, they were respectful. They were nice. Unlike the girls who watched the show and knew they had connections with people, but were trying to fuck things up and trying to fuck them. Like, the guys, they heard them. And, like, they, they heard, okay, they're in a relationship. Yep, got it. We're, we're just gonna chill. And they, like, listened to them as they rambled on about, like, the people. And the fact that, like, while the guys there were doing all this shit, Serena was literally crying with Kaylor, which... Kaylor pissed me off how much she was crying. Serena, like, I, like that was fine because she, like, really cries. But, like, I felt so bad because I was watching and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, how are they going to come back from this? It's like, how the fuck? Because I didn't know Kaylor and Aaron got back together after that. I was kind of hoping that they would not because, you know, like, uh, she deserves better. But... Like, for Serena, I was like, how the hell are they going to come back from this? Like, this is so messy. Especially the next episode when she was yelling at them and all the fights. Like, y'all don't understand that. Like, the moment I got so into it and I was dying. I was having the time of my life, but I also was, like, yelling. It was such a mess. Like, that was the moment I was like, okay, yeah. I've never been this into reality TV. Like, it was good. It's like... I feel like if you would watch it and you didn't know it was reality TV, you would not know. Like, it was insane. Like, oh my gosh, the buzz is real. Like, oh my gosh. Like, Kenny, Janae, and Serena and Cordell, they got me bad when they were fighting. Like, oh my gosh, especially Janae and Kenny. Holy shit, because they are probably my favorite couple to come out of this, I think, honestly. Don't get me wrong. I love Serena and Cordell. I love Leah and Miguel. But Janae and Kenny, there's something about them. And it might have been their fight and how they were talking. And, like, you could tell how upset he was, like, that he hurt her. And he was like, oh, shit, like, I really fucked up. But the moment that, like, I really, really fell in love with them was when he was bawling his eyes out with his hand on his heart after he realized how bad he hurt her. I was like, okay, if I get into a relationship and, like, like, my partner is not bawling their eyes out like that when I, like, threaten to break up with them or some shit, which I don't plan on doing, but, and I also don't plan on dating, but you, you know what I mean. If they don't do that, no. Like, oh my gosh, like, that was cinema. That felt like a show. It felt like I was watching a show. It was so good. In the way Leah and Serena were, like, trying to calm him down and be like, it's fine, it's fine. Like, holy shit. Like, that was the moment there that I fell in love with them. Like, I already loved Janae. And I already liked them because I was like, oh, great. Janae finally found a decent guy because she had Koi, wasn't that? the guy's name at the beginning i don't really remember the first guy that came in because he was the first that left and i'm happy he left because he was kind of a dick and then connor and like that whole thing with leah and then she was with someone else at some point i think but i might be wrong and then kenny came in i was like okay i'm liking kenny then he did that and i was like okay maybe not because when he came in with the other girl but then that fight solidified because I felt so bad for her like the way she was like I'm gonna leave I'm packing my bags I'm going and like I don't blame her like poor girl has not had like a good man to her on here like shit always happens and she could not catch a break like I completely understand if I were her I probably would have left so I'm happy that man like like was trying to calm her like I mean he kind of, like, was trying to explain himself, and I'm, like, happy he tried to, and, like, tried to make it better, but the, the girls, like, really stopped her from going, and be like, no, it's fine, like, it's fine, like, we'll be fine, and they worked it out in a couple of episodes, which I'm obviously thrilled they did, and I hope they last, I really hope they do, I and mean, because I don't know Love Island like that, I don't know how successful the relationships are after this, or, like, after they leave the villa, but I'm hoping Serena and Cordell, Janae and Kenny, and Leah and Miguel are, like, stay together because they're everything. I mean, I would also like Kendall and Nicole to stay together because they're cute. But I'm hearing that they already broke up because of shit that happened. 
with Kendall and like something got leaked. I'm not really sure what got leaked because I did not see anything. Because I'm not really on Love Island Twitter. I like... I've seen stuff on there because people I'm friends with on there have watched the show and have posted edits and things, but I don't know much about him because they never posted about him. I just knew they were in the finale because I saw a video of, like, the finale. Like, the only people I heard about before were Janae and Kenny, Liam Miguel, and Serena, and Cordell. Like, they were the only ones I heard about, so I don't know what's going on with Kendall. I don't know what's going on with Nicole. Like, I don't hate Kendall. Honestly, he was pretty chill out of the guys. So, I would feel bad. Because he seems like a decent person. So, if, like, something happened, I could feel bad for him. I'm kind of... I, like, I want to know. I'm excited as hell for the reunion. Because I'm ready for shit to be spilled. I need Andrea there just so they can, like, go after her. I need Leah to go after everyone who did her wrong. Go after Rob, too. Because... The fact that people still ship them, like I said, is insane to me. Like, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, you have your own opinion. Like, I'm not going to, like, hate you on it. But still, like, what the hell? Like, I personally cannot. Going into it, like, I knew, obviously, they didn't last. I heard some shit that he did hurt dirty. I didn't know how, though. So, like, I was like, okay, they're kind of cute. I see why people kind of like them. But then, whole situation happened with Liv and I was like okay but then he went back to her he was like no I want you and then just dumped her for Andrea was like that was so fucked up like you didn't get like say anything to her before you did that like that was so rude like the fact you're like oh yeah like like I want you and then picked her as soon as she showed up and the fact that Aaron was like oh she still likes you like Y'all are gonna get together. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, I know you just want to be with Rob. Like, I know that's the thing. It's like, the fact that other people were saying that too kind of upset me. But I feel like the reason Janae brought it up was just because she wanted to make sure and, like, just see because they're friends. Like, I honestly don't think Janae was trying to push her and Rob together. At least I hope not. But, like, I just... It pisses me off that I still see people, like, saying, oh, they're going to be together or trying to get them together. It's like, she's happy with Miguel. And I know she was on the Call Her Daddy podcast. And so was Rob at some point as well. And on the podcast, she apparently said something about how her relationship with Rob kind of triggered some stuff from, like, her old, like, toxic relationships back in the past and trauma from that. I think, I think that's what was said. So, that just shows you should not want them back together. Like, you can ship them. I just don't know if we want them back together. But, like, I mean, if you ship them, go off. Like, it's your opinion. Personally, I can't. But, like, I, like, I'm not gonna hate you. You know? Like, people have their own opinions. I don't hate on people for it unless it's, like, severely wrong. But, like, for this, it's, like, it's fine. I still need to listen to her on the Call Your Daddy podcast. Like, because I finished the, 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 oh my gosh. Because I finished the season last night. I haven't had time. Because, like, I literally went to bed almost right after I watched it. So, like, I haven't had time to listen to it. But I will. Probably today. It's on my list. I probably won't listen to Rob on there because he pisses me off. And I, and I don't, just don't like him. Like, I just don't. And, like, the way when he got kicked out, which, I mean, about time, like, my gosh, he, like, had endless lives. But, like, when he got kicked out and he was, like, like, come with me. I want you to come with me. I'm, like, oh, my gosh. So, you, like, did her dirty so many fucking times, made her believe that you, like, wanted to be with her, and then left her and then was a dick and was rude to her. And then you say shit like that. Like, no. Like, no. Like, bro lasted way too long. I'm sorry. He really did. Like, and Aaron, too. I mean, the fact that Aaron was like, I'm so happy we can leave together. Like, I'm not sad because we're leaving together. Blah, blah. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I just, like, bro is in love with him. I'm sorry. I think he has feelings for, like, 
like, for Rob, and even, like, Taylor on a podcast, I don't know what she was on, and I still want to listen to it, because I feel like I want answers, but she said something about how he almost left when Rob was about to leave with Andrea. I'm like, oh my gosh, that just says so much about that man. Like, you should have dumped him when he did that, because if he's willing to leave for, like, him over, like, a relationship that could lead to marriage, like, oh my gosh, like, yes, I get friendship is, like, I feel like it's probably more important than, like, love, you know what I mean, like, friendship love, but still, like, that's a little fucked up that you were gonna leave your, like, your girl just because he was upset and you were upset with them and yelling at the girls, it's like, that whole fucking situation, though, was such a mess, like, the way that then they blamed Leah and shit like that like yeah she it's not like she didn't say anything but for the most part she didn't really say much i mean it's not like she was like yeah leah needs to go let's go like she didn't say that and so the fact that everyone was like oh or like not everyone Liv and kayla were like oh no like she did not take a back seat it was like oh but she was very like expressive about it i'm like no and, like, they all were getting up on her. Like, that's not what we're going to do. Like, come on. Leave Leah alone. That is the people's princess. Like, let's not. Let's not do that. She's like, oh, my gosh. Like, that whole situation could have been avoided if Andrea was not a shit face. And not a shit face. Not, like, a dick. And just moved on. Like, I'm sorry. I just don't like her. And I'm not saying, like, send death threats. Like, I've seen that people send death threats. Like, don't do that. Like, I'm not that, like, awful, awful of a person. Like, I may not like you. I might think you're a dick. I might think you're a dumbass. Like, I hate you. But I'm not going to wish you that. I don't wish you any harm. I just don't like you. You know? And that's how I feel with her. And if she keeps popping up on my TikTok for, like, with interviews, I'm going to be really pissed off. Because girl was there for four days and she already had was on so many like shows for interviews and talking about like oh what we had was special and like I feel like maybe we can rekindle it blah blah blah. I'm like no and she literally was like stuff with Daniela and Cassie like didn't mean anything or some shit like that it's like yeah he didn't really like Cassie or not Cassie uh Daniela and he realized that clearly but First of all, that was kind of shitty that he kind of let her on. And it was like, she was like, oh, yeah, things are going really well. And then he dumped her. And I felt bad because Daniela was the, one of the Casa girls. Actually, the only Casa girl that... Or Casa? 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 I don't know. However you say it. She was the only one of those girls that I actually liked. Because she genuinely seemed nice. Like, she seemed genuine. Like, she seemed like a nice girl, and she was stunning as well. Like, she seemed really sweet, and I liked the way she got along with the girls. And when she, like, apologized to Kaylor and was, like, really nice to her about the whole situation when Kaylor tried to cut from her. I do think it was not great that she did not tell Kaylor about the shower thing, and it was like, I forgot about that. Because, again, like Liv said, that is not something you forget. But I do like that she was trying to protect her feelings, and she didn't want to, like, hurt her more. And I, I'm happy they got along after that. But it's like, they didn't have anything. But I think it was fucked up the way he did it. And with Cassie, like, I don't know. I don't think they're still together. They're probably not. But it, clearly, Andrea is blind. Because it did mean something if they did fuck. And also, they have history because... He was on the last season or some shit like that. And so was she. Or I misheard. I think that was what happened. I don't know. I try not to pay attention when Rob popped up on my screen. I know people like him. And people think he's attractive. I think he's attractive. But not like as much as people are like saying. Like personally. He's not really my type. Like I think Cordell, Miguel, and Kenny. And Kendall. But mostly like... Miguel, Kenny, Cordell. I think they were the most attractive out of the bunch. To be honest. Or at least for me. Because I don't... Who are the other other people that came on? Hakeem? 
Wasn't that one of the guy's names? I mean, he wasn't that bad looking, but he was a dick, and I did not like the way he treated Liv. Because, I mean, Liv pissed me off occasionally, but she came through for the girls a lot. I didn't like how she ganged up on Leah with Kayla and with and Rob, but that whole situation. But girl came through, and I was sad when she left because I really did like her for the most part. And he did her dirty, so, like, fuck him. He was decent looking, but fuck him. And I literally don't remember any of the other guys, to be honest. I don't. Or at least I don't remember their names. Like, I only really remember the girls. Like, Cassidy, I think, came in at one point. That girl who left. Which I felt really bad for her. That, like, she left right away. But, I mean, we obviously knew that... Like, they were not going to have Liv leave, and I'm happy they didn't. But I felt bad for her, because she seemed like a really nice girl. Like, she didn't do anything wrong. I know she was barely there, but she, well, with the time she was there, she didn't do really anything wrong. And even though it was just a day, or like a couple days, or maybe it was just a day. I don't know how long it was. It wasn't very long. You can fuck so much shit up in like a short amount of time. Like, again, Casa Amor. They were there for a couple of days, and they fucked so much shit. Literally fucked all their relationships. Like, yes, they came back around, which I'm so grateful for. But, still. Like, I don't know if I would have been able to forgive them. I don't. I feel like maybe... I don't know. I just feel like... I, if I was Serena, I probably would not have forgiven Cordell just because it was us from the beginning and you moved on like that. And, so, like, and then he, he did redeem himself, obviously, but it was, like, it's, like, all I'm thinking about is their fucking fight and the way, like, Serena was, like, going off at him, which she had every right, same, like, during the, um, um, recoupling, like, that girl was in her revenge dress she was out for blood after seeing that video like she was literally sleeping outside getting attacked by bugs while you were in bed with that girl making out and again dry humping her it's like like show some respect and i'm like i'm happy she was like i'm gonna be single and she did what kayla did and didn't even wait she's like i know he's coming back for someone but even if he didn't i would want to be single because i'm not giving him the fucking time of day until he redeems himself and proves his loyalty and she did it she did because like she knows what she wants that's why she was giving him such a hard time at the beginning she knows what she wants and she wants to make sure like you're like going to do that for her and he did at first, then he fucked it up, and then he did it again. You know, like, he came around, and they're chilling now. They're so cute. Like, like, even before he did that, I was obsessed with them. But their whole, like, all the angst they had, and their whole argument made me like them even more. Like, holy shit. Like, Serena had every right to go off at them. And though, like, the way that, like, the girls and some of the guys were like, holy shit, like, Serena, calm down, blah, blah, like, no. First of all, all the guys were, like, supportive of him, which was fucked up as hell. And even supportive as, of Aaron doing that, which was, again, fucked up. And then, like, they were like, oh, let's relax, like, come on. And even the girls were like, or not the, like, Villa girls, but the Casa girls were like, oh, she's overreacting, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, fuck you. He, he literally, like, what did you expect her to do? Like, honestly, she's better than me because I probably would have, like, punched them. Actually, no, I probably wouldn't because I don't, I'm not good with violence. But I probably would have thrown something. Like, holy shit, or I would have shoved him. Like, girl went off at everyone and she had every fucking right every damn right it's like it's like I, I already want to rewatch that episode just for the angst with kenny and, and janae and cordell and serena like it was good it was insane like holy shit i was so invested like i could could not breathe the, like oh my gosh oh my gosh like i'm so happy that Serena and Cordell won. Even though I think, my, like I said, my favorite probably was Kenny and Janae. But I'm happy they won. 
like they deserved it especially because it's been them from the beginning like they're the only ones in the final but like like who have been there since the beginning because everyone else came later like they deserved it i honestly thought leah and miguel were gonna win at one point before like it came out because of how popular leah was and how everyone was obsessed with her which i mean i get it now like i was i mean i kind of understood even before i watched it because i kind of started loving her before i did but after watching it or after the first few episodes i was like okay yeah i completely get why everyone calls her the people's princess because she is i adore her i wish her nothing but the best and i want a podcast from her and the girls ppg podcast like let's go like what do you mean i'm not gonna see them on my screen anymore like i need a reality show of like like the, the three girls with their band like come on let's give it to us please i feel like maybe they'll try to do something but maybe not i don't know i feel like because this is like the most popular love island usa season they're probably gonna want to do something and that's probably why they're doing a reunion i don't know if they do a reunion for the other seasons but like i feel like that's probably why they're doing it but i don't know i will be sat ready to go for the reunion ready for me to call everyone out and like i just need andrea there to like like just for them to go off at her and for rob to tell her it was not that serious because the way she was acting and not only acting because like i get it's emotional when you leave but the way like everyone was acting and the way she was in interviews i did not realize it was just four days i thought it was like a week or two because i didn't know how long it was i think they said it at the beginning how long love island went on for but i didn't know so like i forgot so when i like read comments it was like it was four days i was like okay so she's a bit delusional because yeah no it's not gonna work out so because it's rob and he's a literal walking red flag he might be attractive but he's a walking red flag like he did leah dirty the most like the most dirty he did daniela dirty he did live dirty he And then he most likely did Cassie dirty. I don't know if they're still together. I don't think they are. But it's like... No. Like... No, no, no. And I honestly still think he has feelings for Leah. Like, I stand by that. Especially when, like... On the Call Your Daddy podcast, when Alex asked about like would they ever get back together i don't know what he said because i haven't watched it i just like remember him saying something that were like people like oh my gosh like no and i'm happy when people were like oh my gosh like get them back together and leah was just like shouting out her man and like giving me miguel the credit even though like they are friends like the tiktoks we saw they are friends but like she's with miguel she's happy and i'm happy she's letting people know on her instagram that that is her man and she is happy and doesn't want anything to do with rob like let's fucking go like come on it's like like, i don't get why he like i don't get why he would want that like, like yeah leah's an incredible girl i get that but like you fucked up so many times i also want to know like andrea's reaction to that you know like i want to know but like i had a feeling he still had feelings for her because first of all everyone was bringing it up and it pissed me off that people were trying to get them to go after each other when he did her dirty so many times and she was with miguel like she will probably always like not like like here's the she likes him and cares for him as a friend now it's different you know she's moved on like she cares for him but in a different way so like the fact that people were like oh my gosh go for it especially aaron i was like shut the fuck up like she does not want to be with you anymore you fucked it up you did her so dirty but like during the heart rate challenge or whatever that was i like that was confirmation that he kind of still liked her but then honestly I don't know because it's like people's heart rates were going up for the people that weren't there, girl. You know, like Kenny's went up for Kaylor, 
Miguel's and someone else's went up for Cassie, which I wasn't happy about because I wanted them to go up for them. But I get with like Miguel, it was the new person, and like they were like, "What the hell?" And then Kenny was the first one, and he was she was like going up, like she went to him first. I still don't know how. For Kenny, it wasn't Janae though, because I think my heart rate was going up the most for Janae. Like, girl is so fucking fine. I mean, they're all attractive, but she's so hot. And I don't know how her ass moves like that, too. Like, I was flipping out. Like, I was sitting there like, oh my gosh, like, what the fuck? Like, she's so hot. It's like, I honestly thought Kenny was going to be for her, but I forgave him. Especially because, like, it might have just been the laughing or something because, or, like, the shock. Because I know the girls, for some of them, their heart rate didn't go up the most for their men. Like, Leah and someone else's went up for Cordell because they were laughing so hard and it was hilarious or some shit like that which it was i had a great time watching Cordell, but i don't know i feel like rob still does like leah like i said and it's just like, i just they're not getting back together i'm sorry like i know people are like oh my gosh they're so getting back together they're hanging out like she's with her man like they're not physically together right now but they are in a relationship still and i think They'll last for quite a bit. I mean, some people think they'll break up before the reunion. I personally don't. I think if they're going to break up, I mean, I hope not. I don't want to put that in the universe. But if they do break up, it's for sure going to be after. Like, I don't think it's going to be before. I hope it's not because I want to see them together. And I want her to rub it in, like, everyone's faces that did her dirty, like, that she's in a good relationship now and you're not. I don't want to be petty, but, like, she should, because poor girl. Everyone was going at her. At her. And so, like, I'm happy Miguel's there to, like, help her. It's like, my gosh. She deserves better. I mean, all the girls really do deserve better, because the guy's fucked up. But, like, she deserves better, because everyone is going after her. Especially from Raw. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, I'm just, I'm excited for the reunion. I really am, because I'm ready for people, like I said, to people to go off at Andrea. I really hope she's there. I feel like, in maybe, like, most case scenarios, they would not have her there, because she wasn't there for that long. But for the drama of it, I feel like they probably will. Especially because, like, how rude she was to Leah. Like, the way when Miguel showed up and she was like, I'm recently single, like, happy I am with your, you, now that you're here, or something like that. And she looked at her and said, you're welcome. Like, fuck you, no. Like, oh my gosh, be nice. Maybe comfort the girl. Don't be like, you're welcome. No, like, fuck you, you're a bitch. As you can tell, I really don't like her. <laughs> so I'm so happy when she left. Like, I, when I, like, when she, they said she left. Like, I kind of knew it was going to be her, but, like, I also thought maybe it was going to be Nicole and they were going to somehow, like, be like, oh, surprise, and I ever come back. But, like, when they said it was her, I cheered so fucking loud. I was so happy. Like, hey, I'm sorry. I just don't like you. Like, you're just a bitch. You know? So. I'm ready for her to just come on my screen for that to get attacked. That's why I always like the reunions. Like, for example last season of the bachelor joey season the woman's tell all i had the time of my fucking life like i usually don't watch like the reunion specials like for example dance moms i didn't watch that reunion and i think for like the golden bachelor women tell all i didn't watch that either but for some i do and i did for the bachelor specifically because i was ready for maria to kick everyone's ass and she did. And I have the time of my life. Like, Maria is my girl. Love her to death. If Maria and Leah kind of give me the same vibes that I really want them to hang out. That would be insane. But, like, yeah, she forgave everyone because she's such a nice person. And it's, like, honestly better even th than everyone. Even though they did her so dirty and were such bitches to her. But, like, she forgave them and now they're all friends. Which is, like, great. But I want, like, Leah to go off at everyone like i like maria did it at first 
Like, I don't know if Leah's necessarily going to forgive everyone, and I honestly hope she doesn't. Because, like, I like, like, for The Bachelor, it showed that Maria is such a good person that she forgave them. But honestly, I would have been fine if she didn't, because they pissed me off so much. Like, Andrea is reminding me of Sydney in a way. Because, but, I mean, I think Sydney might have pissed me off more because she was there for longer. And I want to, like, pluck out my eyeballs, like, every t- fucking time she popped up on my screen. Same was with Andrea. But, like, she wasn't there for as long, so it wasn't as bad. But, like, I'm ready for, for Leah to just go after people. Go after Rob. Go after Andrea. Go after the Casa Moore girls. Maybe Liv, even though I kind of like Liv, for, like, saying shit. Kaylor for saying shit. And I really hope somebody calls her out for being a crybaby. I mean, they already kind of did. Or there was something that, like, a question about something. And they said Kaylor, and she was kind of upset. And I honestly thought she was going to cry. Oh my gosh. Like, when she cried, I understood for, like, the Casa more thing. But, but she did it so much. I was like, okay, like, let's pipe down. Like, after she saw the video, I get it. But even before, she was bawling her eyes out. And then, like, she's bawling her eyes out over everything. Like, my gosh. Like, what the hell? I mean, I don't know if they're going to last be- until the reunion. Kayla and Aaron, I... <laughs> I don't, I don't want them to, because I want Kayla to, like, actually admit, like, 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 he's a dick, but I don't think they will, I just don't think she knows her self-worth, but Leah better, um, go after Aaron, too, I hope everyone goes after Aaron for literally being in love with, um, Rob, because, like, I mean, the narrator on Love Island was making jokes about it at one point, like, let's, like, let's have them go after that. Like, please address it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so excited for August 19th. And I'm just excited to see who lasts until then. And just who's going to be there. We obviously know, like, the four, the finalists are going to be there. Kayla and Aaron. Rob. I don't know who else. Probably Daniela will be there. Maybe some other people. I don't really know, to be fair. Liv will for sure be there. But other than that, I don't know who will be there. But I feel like they will bring a lot of the people back who did people dirty just for the drama of it. And I want, I just want everyone to flex like their relation, their like relationships, and then they made it to the final. Like Leah made it to the final. Got second fucking place. Like, let's celebrate that. Let's show it off. Like, let's get in Andrea's face and show it off. Like, fuck you. I'm sorry. I hate her so much. It's, like, really bad. Like, I literally, last night when I was going to bed, because, like, I knew I was going to record this when I woke up, I was, like, thinking about how much I hate Andrea and how I was just going to probably bash her this whole episode. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if you can redeem yourself in the, um reunion maybe i'll start to like you but as of right now no and i don't think you will because your tiktoks and interviews are pissing me off even more but i guess we'll see august 19th right i think that's what i said august 19th love island usa reunion well i'll be sat live ready to fucking go for that because i am hyped i'm so happy i decided to watch it because i honestly wasn't going to because of how long it was and i wanted to get through other shows but when i finished 911 lone star i was like okay yeah we're so fucking watching this because i need to see what the hype is i want to know things and i'm happy it did because i'm obsessed i'm ready to go i'll be watching love island uk next season and maybe us but I don't know. I have to figure it out because usually the UK is better. Like I said, I don't know. But then I also don't want to watch the UK because, of course, Aaron's from the UK and he <laughs> pissed me off so much. I'm worried the other ones are going to piss me off just as much as he did. I don't know why. I just think that. But we will see and maybe I will do an episode about the reunion if anything exciting happens. I mean, it's going to be exciting, but if anything happens... I might do an episode about that. Maybe. I don't know, because it's close to when I go back to school. Like, move back in my dorm. So I might not, because I'll be stressed. 
but honestly i might who the hell knows we have to see but i think i'm gonna end the episode here sorry it was such a mess i knew it was going to be because this really didn't have like I mean, I had a topic, Love Island, USA, season six, but it's not like I was talking about, like, the whole season. I was just talking about how pissed off I was and getting everything off my chest because I had shit to say, and I'm happy I did it because I feel so much better, so much better, and I can't wait to talk about this with my therapist if she watched it, but thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you guys soon.